October day four. How is everybody's day going? Mine is going swimmingly. I'm just skipping out to run a little errand. My uh, work day is going well. And I'm running over to my uh, P.O. box uh, to check and see if I got anything there because I'm expecting something. And so I thought I'd take you guys along, start the vlog and do no off. Update, dinner last night was so, was really good. Um, however, I was a little disappointed with the proportion of sprouted mung beans in my salad. My salad was delicious. I, I did in fact get the salad and it was really good. Um, and we also got um, to share these uh, chickpea, it's called a chickpea spiral. It was like um, an appetizer. It was almost kind of like an Indian hummus within a, a flatbread. It was really good and you know, plated very nicely and you know, it wasn't really nice. And then, oh, I also got, with my salad, I got a carrot roti um, that had fenugreek in it. It was really good, and um, I enjoyed it. I would go back there. I really wanna try, they have um, a special place, uh, above the restaurant, they have something called the Bake Lab, um, or the Bake Shop, the Bake Lab. And they do all kinds of interesting um, uh, baking, Indian baking, like pastries from savory to, to sweet. They also make a variety of like vegetable stocks and stuff like that that you can buy. And they do cooking demonstrations. They have, apparently they have, um, you know, vegan baking and stuff like that. So I really wanna check that out some sometime uh, you know, a morning or something like that. It sounds great. Um, that'd be fun to take you guys along in there. But anyways, skincare update. I just finished the, um, my um, second Biore UV. Um, this was the watery, whichever one I showed this morning. I'm blanking on whether it's gel or, or what, what its actual moniker is. But um, I think I'm going to try the Biore Milky Lotion next. Um, I've got my Shiseido Sanka here rocking like a champ on my face currently. I just reapplied it about 20 minutes before getting in the car to allow the film to form. It's really hard to say film to form. <laughs> film to form, film to form. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, sunscreen on my face this morning. Um, and I also have Nivea on it. I think of all the Japanese sunscreens that I'm experimentating with, I find Nivea is, is kind of, uh, I really just like the packaging of the Nivea one and that pump. Um, I think it's the smartest design uh, for for distribute for like for sunscreen application. I just think it makes it easier. Um, a lot of you guys have tried it and commented that you also really like it in that manner. But what else can I update you guys? Oh, this morning I um, allowed my fall leaves to uh, burn for about 40 minutes, and it just that candle is fantastic. It really makes a wonderful fragrance. But anyways, I'm here at the postal office. You know, I will say this, post, post office, um, 
postal servicemen, um, historically they always have this bad rap, right, as, as, of being just um, dissatisfied with the, their line of work. And I, I can totally see how that would be the case. I mean, I can think of nothing that would be more challenging and, and stressful than being a, a postal serviceman. However, I will just have to say, I mean, I've never had a bad experience with a, a postal postal worker, but um, the postal workers that I encounter in Houston, they're like the nicest people I have ever met. Like, I kind of want to be friends with them. I mean, I almost really enjoy coming over here to the P.O. box, um, and I hope that I have a little yellow slip. Um, a, because I'm excited that I'm getting something, um, and it, you know, it excites me. But B, I I'm excited to see my little friend in there. Now I'm blanking on his name. It sounds terrible. I mean, he's not a, like a little friend. He he He's not even a friend, let's be honest, but I'm excited to see the postal worker. Likewise, the postal worker who delivers the mail to my actual home address is also a very cheerful and upstanding individual. I mean, once upon a time when I was growing up, you know, we had like this old-fashioned thing called a mailbox that you, you went out to at the end of the driveway, and around the holidays, um, you would actually be able to put a gift in the mailbox, and in our neighborhood at least, and at, at that time, uh, it was understood that was for the postal worker for the holidays. Now they'd probably steal it, but how do you get a gift to your postal worker or just a thank you? Um, comment below because with the holiday season um, kickstarting before you know it, I want to have that in my, my back burner as, as friends to uh, shed a little cheer and shine on my postal or postal crew. All right, guys. Woohoo, guys! Exciting news! Look what came in the P.O. box. A beautiful postcard from one of you guys from my destination of choice. Well, I'd love to visit. Uh, sorry. This is uh, Prince Edward Island. Um, the postal, the stamps on this are just beautiful. This comes from Canada. Somebody was visiting there on her, um, on her vacation. I also got a box here. Um, so I will, let's see what's in the box. The box is from the Amazonian. Oh, the kind folks at Anju sent me an aromatherapy candle, guys. Let's see. Oh, this is a soy wax one. Um, it is uh, cruelty-free, of course. Like um, I'm really enjoying their um, essential oils um, it, as, as cleaning. I don't put them on my skin. But I'm really enjoying the Anju Naturals. Uh, tea tree oil in my toilet bowl it works really well in there and then the lemon smells exactly like my Australian lemon myrtle and I really enjoy putting a few drops of that in my um, washing machine and when my wash comes out the the linens the sheets like I washed my sheets this weekend and they smell like lemony freshness but let's check out this candle guys that she sent me um, Oh my goodness, you guys, this smells delicious. Oh yes, this is really, really nice. Thank you at this moment for sharing. Oh, how sweet. I cannot wait to fire this bad boy up. Um, and it's got some instructions on here. Thanks. Anjou. Yeah, I'm really enjoying their um, essential oils. Many of you have commented that you got them like, that you likewise got them um, and, and are enjoying them. I really like using them exclusively in, in home keeping and cleaning. Like I said, I, I don't encourage people to put them on the skin. But I'm really jazzed about this candle. I am so happy about that. So the work day is done. Hope you enjoyed my little errand run. I'm over here at my favorite location, CVS, because they have all of the fun Asian um, sheet masks. Um, buy one, get one half off. And I just love these cream shop ones. <laughs> the drink up skin one is like one of my favorites. <laughs> Perk up skin. Anti-aging collagen essence. Let's see what this has in it. Oh, it's got licorice root extract. I bet that's brightening. Anytime you put on one of these masks, guys, I swear, if you notice a brightening effect, like that your skin's brighter, I swear it's the licorice root extract. <clears throat> 
I mean, there's a lot of evidence that that in skincare has a brightening effect. It inhibits some of the biology of how pigments um, are transported around and distributed in the skin. But speaking of brightening, in yesterday's vlog, if you missed it, I mentioned about the Aveeno Positively Radiant that I like. And um, so this is also one sort of, I guess if you buy any Aveeno for three, you get an extra, oh, eight bucks reward. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. But this is the nighttime cream I was talking about, the intensive night cream with um, soy complex. And it also has, um, I think it also has niacinamide in it, however, which some of you are irritated by. Um, and that was demonstrated in the melasma study, some irritation with niacinamide, but the subjects got quote unquote used to it after a while. So, but both niacinamide and soy um, can have be helpful in uh, melasma and dark spots and I happen to like this intensive night cream the day cream the sunscreen is a, a decent chemical sunscreen um, and uh, you know you definitely should be wearing sunscreen if if you uh, particularly if you're dealing with dark discoloration but um, I can't remember what it was about this I didn't care for just in using it as a consumer. I think it was just felt, oh, it's got fragrance. It's pretty heavily fragrant. So. Well, yeah, but I, anytime I come in stores like this, I always forget um, and somebody will ask. But yes, like the drugstore brand version of Aveeno is identical. Like, I mean, as far as the active ingredient that that is I'm almost certain they are I, I really have no way to know that but um, you know as far as the active ingredients and if it's a sunscreen then yeah they're exactly comparable but I always forget to mention this whenever I'm in like a drugstore or whatever but yeah and I, I'll get questions about it but pretty much the drugstore brand of the name brand they're usually equivalent at least in active ingredients um, and you guys seem to like this beauty 361 by CVS but likewise, when I talk about CeraVe, you will always ask me about Aquation. Um, yeah, I mean, they look ex essentially the same and are a little bit cheaper. They're probably the same. I haven't tried Aquation personally, nor have I tried Beauty 360, but um, I would always recommend going with the, the, the generic. I mean, they're basically the same. Oh my gosh, how sweet is this cute little ghost with his little candy fangs? Oh, he's so sweet. I just want to squeeze him. <laughs> Likewise, the little cat bat thing. How sweet is he? <laughs> okay, did anyone ever get these as a child and find them a huge letdown? Like, like what they're promising here on the sh on the front is like not a reality. I mean, these paints are kind of like basically goopy plastic, and they don't have any spreadability. Ugh, these things never work. <laughs> Yeah, I used to have these visions of grandeur of doing these elaborate, uh, like, ghouly things, and yeah, it was always a huge fail. <laughs> Likewise, this stuff, I think I fell for this once as a child and was sorely disappointed. I thought I was going to be, like, rainbow bright, and it was just kind of a horrific experience. Bell died, and it's, I've never had one of these. Oh, my eyelashes totally focused on these stocking stuffers. Uh, like I said, we are doing stocking stuffers. Guys, so I just got back from my little wander through CVS. I did not, in fact, end up purchasing any cream shop masks because, suffice it to say, I have plenty. I have a full plate of sheet masks to be trying out for you guys this this month. But those ones by Cream Shop are a lot of fun. And um, you know what I was talking talking about in there, and what I mentioned um, yesterday about uh, topical soy and topical niacinamide. Those are two ingredients that, if they're in a product um, that's touting it to be brightening they're actually effective okay I know most of the time when it comes to to um, creams and you know cosmos cosme, what I call cosmeceuticals um, things that you know claim X Y and Z for the most part you'll find me saying that's a gimmick there's no evidence for that but there is actually evidence that niacinamide um, applied topically to the skin as well as licorice root extract um, applied to the skin can have a brightening effect. Licorice root extract, soy, niacinamide, and um, 
Osokojic acid is another one. There are quite a few. I list them all in the description box of my dark spots and melasma video. So if that topic interests you, I have it listed um, in the description box down below. So you can you can go find that video and reference the uh, description box. But um, yeah. But my um, fall leaves candle that I burned this morning for maybe, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. Coming into my apartment now at the end of the day, it smells just like um, the candle. Um, it's such a great smell. It's like apples and berries and just love it. And so I went ahead and plugged in my sweet little owl over there. He's glowing. And look what came in the mail, guys. I'm so excited. I don't know how I'm getting this, but I'm not angry at all because I actually love Better Homes and Gardens so, so much in the Halloween rendition. Look how cute these pumpkins are here that you can paint. Oh, that's a good looking one. And another f favorite of mine is Family Circle. I absolutely love these like um, crafting, homekeeping kind of magazines far, far better than to me. I, I would much rather have these or Oprah. I would much rather have those or Oprah or even, the, I, I enjoy some of the fitness magazines too, like Shape. Um, I would rather have those than, than a fashion magazine because while I appreciate fashion as art, I just, you know, it, it's not, it's not my, my lifestyle, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> I don't see any Costco couture rocked in um, L and uh, Glamour, but anyways. Um, before I run on out to the gym, I wanted to show you guys what I am making for dinner tonight. You saw me preparing my, uh, I'm making a crock pot uh, cook down of just some veggies that I have. Um, I basically got zucchini in there, turmeric and cinnamon, and on, uh, a little bit of white onion and um, uh, chopped up garlic and uh, I'm just gonna let that cook here on low and slow and one of the things I have really been enjoying doing is I put my crock pot on this um, rectangular towel tea towel here and I just kind of fold this over for, for um, satisfying my compulsion to have things symmetric. But anyways, um, the reason I like doing this is because when the crock pot is done, um, I don't like scoop the contents out uh, with a spoon or anything. I basically just dump them into my serving bowl onto this thing. And then by having the towel underneath, it um, you know gets all the little splatters and stuff. So yeah, I mean, that's like one serving for myself. So rather than uh, get out some sort of ladle and have another thing to wash, I just take take it and dump it directly in the bowl I'm gonna eat out of. So these are the mung beans, you guys, and these are just completely unseasoned, but they are so good. I mean, even just plain unsalted mung beans are, I mean, they're like, they're like, I don't know, little vegan M&Ms or something. They're really good, and they're really excellent dusted with um, cinnamon, um, and I can imagine if you could dust them with cocoa powder, they'd be really good. I've kind of been enjoying sprinkling them on top of my cauliflower oats, honestly. They're, they're like sprinkles. They're like vegan sprinkles. These are the sweet potatoes that I made uh, two vlogs back in my crock pot that I, I put in the crock pot. They're, I peeled them, cubed them, put them in the crock pot with some fresh chopped ginger and uh, a bunch of cinnamon and a bunch of turmeric and just let them cook um, with, in a little bit of water, low and slow. And they caramelize. And these guys taste like a piece of cake. They really do. I'm not even joking. And so that, it tastes like little pumpkin pie bites or like uh, pumpkin spice donuts. It, it tastes like you're eating a dessert, like a pastry. So Boo. <laughs> So tonight I'm doing the Tony Moly Intensive Moisturizing Ceramide Moisture Care Mask that you guys sent me. Um, and I'm having a ton of fun trying these guys out. So stay tuned later this month for the review on that. I've got my Jason mask on over here to terrify everybody. So uh, at any rate, it's not going to slip and slop around while I chit chat with you guys. Okay, so coming full circle, you know, and, and speaking about dark spots and, you know, all these kind of cosmetic aims to, to lighten and brighten our skin. You're really just spinning your wheels and wasting wasting time, energy, and resources if you don't have a strong sun protection game. Because, uh, because as soon as you go outdoors, you know, the sun is just going to render all that completely useless. It's going to drive more hyperpigmentation into your skin. Um, and, you know, 
maybe you don't care about dark spots, melasma. Say you just, I don't know, have skin. You need to have a strong sun protection game. So I mentioned this morning that I'm going to be trying out the Biore UV Perfect Milk. This is uh, one of the Japanese sunscreens that um, I'm excited to try out. This, like most of the Japanese sunscreens, they all have cinemates in them, which we have here in the United States. Um, that's what, usually what um, octinoxate is. And cinemates are chemical sunscreen filters that um, block UVB quite well, okay? Um, and this product also contains, um, I think, uh, a variety of other UVB filters. Okay, those are the those are the wavelengths of light that uh, contribute to skin cancer mostly. Okay, um, so very very important to have coverage there. But the ones that penetrate more deeply, age the skin, probably also likewise contribute to skin cancer in ways we just don't know um, all the details of. of at this juncture. Um, you know, those rays, the UVA rays, their, their coverage and blockage gets a little bit more complicated. Chemical filter-wise, here in the U.S., the best we have to offer is avabenzone. He's irritating as stink, like most people don't care for him. That's the one that when you put it around your eyes, I'm almost certain it's that filter in 99% of people, that, that causes the burning and irritation and stinging and people don't like, okay? But, Chemical sunscreens, be, be what they are, they go on nicer. They blend into the skin much, much better, okay? So there's that. But this product, in addition to containing uh, a cinemate, okay, uh, it, which blocks UVB, it also contains t t something called tinisorb, okay, um, which is uh, biscotrizol, and it's a chemical filter we don't have here in the U.S. that does does extend really well into the UVA range. It tends to be very well tolerated. It's just not FDA approved here yet or um, approved. It, it, it's a long process, um, but that ingredient is, in my opinion, superior to avabenzone because it is just more stable, okay? The shortcoming with avabenzone is that when you put it on um, and, you you know, you always allow a film to form uh, and then after going outdoors, with over over time, the ultraviolet light actually slowly degrades the avabenzone, rendering it ineffective. Um, so, you know, you really, really have to reapply chemical sunscreens every very diligently here in the U.S. That's the case with any sunscreen, no matter where it's from or who's its daddy. But um, with avabenzone in particular, you're just losing the UVA coverage um, a little bit more expeditiously, if you will. Pretty jazzed about it and look forward to trying it out for you guys. It's quite a small bottle though. I don't know how long, how, how much coverage it's gonna offer, but anyways guys, ugh, let me take off my, my Halloween mask here. I look like I'm going to a hockey game. One thing I will slip here and let you guys know, a little sneak peek on the review. These uh, Tony Moly masks, they uh, contain a, a good uh, a good juice concentrate. They're real juicy, you know. They they don't dry. They have they're they're not stingy, I guess, with the uh, with the with the solution on these cotton doohickeys. So, anyways, had tons of fun with that. I'm gonna conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you're enjoying Vlogtober. I sure as stink am. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.